Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. For today's video is a follow-up video to the one I would have done a few days ago on how to claim your Songbird tokens that were airdropped to you by the Flare Network. And the main goal of this video is to show you guys how you can go about staking your Songbird tokens on the Bifrost wallet. Now this specific mobile wallet is designed to allow you to interact with your Songbird tokens on their own blockchain as well as your Spark tokens on the Flare Network blockchain in the future. I will leave a link in my video description so you guys can go and download the correct wallet. Now before I begin this tutorial, you would realize I have my mobile MetaMask wallet set up. This is purely for convenience. If you choose to keep your tokens on your desktop browser extension, that is fine. But if I open up MetaMask, you realize that I would already pre-configured this mobile wallet the same way I did on my desktop to be able to interact with the Songbird blockchain. And here you can see my Songbird tokens as they were in the last video. Now we're going to come back here in just a moment. But the next thing I want to do is actually open up the Bifrost wallet for the very first time. Now this wallet aims to be a decentralized finance enabled wallet, much like Coinbase or Trust Wallet, where you can hold, send and receive thousands of cryptocurrencies, as well as collect in-game assets and other NFTs. Now you should read your terms and conditions as well as their privacy policy. But once you have done that and you click agree, the next screen will prompt you to do a wallet backup. Now this involves writing down a secret recovery phrase. These are the keys to your wallet. Even if you lose your pin or your phone is damaged or lost, you can always recover this account with these words. Once you take the box to show that you understand, you then click backup now. And you should see your words. Obviously, I can't show mine, but once you're finished writing them down, you'll be tested on the following page where it asks you to select your words in the correct order. Now that that is over, we can set a pin for our wallet. And I'm going to keep it simple for this video, and we can also enable biometrics for quick login. Now, this is what a wallet looks like. Obviously, it is empty. You have a tab for your collectibles, a tab for your bookmarks and of course, a tab for your settings. And within the settings are some more advanced settings. You can also change the currency, the language of the wallet, and you can even sign out of this wallet. Well, let's explore that big button in the center of the wallet. When you press that big blue button, you'll see a pop-up that will ask you if you want to send, receive, or scan a QR code. By clicking on receive, you are shown the screen of all of the cryptocurrencies that this wallet accepts. By clicking on any asset, you will see its QR code and receiving address. Now what I'm going to do now is reset this wallet in the settings and restore another wallet that I have just because I want to be on the safe side and I know I would have exposed my private keys recording this video so I'm making sure that I'm starting from a fresh wallet. So now it's time to show you guys the actual staking process. If I open my wallet and I go to click on receive and I click on my songbird, I want to copy this address. Now once that is done, I minimize this and I open up my MetaMask wallet. And here I will go to send these songbird tokens to my Bifrost wallet. I just go to paste in the address that I would have just copied and now click on next, enter the amount, in this case I want to send all. Once I click next, confirm the transaction. All I have to do now is just press send for it to go through. And just like that, my soundboard tokens should have been sent to my Bifrost wallet. So now that is complete, all I have to do now is minimize my MetaMask. Head back over to Bifrost, log in, and I'm going to check on my Songbird tokens to see if they have arrived. Now, as you can see here, I have $95 worth of Songbird. If I click on it, you can see some more information such as the transaction history. I can even go and view this transaction on their Block Explorer. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn how to delegate our tokens. 
And the first thing you must understand is that you must wrap your Songbird tokens before you can delegate them. So let's learn what the wrapping process is about. What is Wrap Songbird? Wrap Songbird is a utility token used by the Oracle system on the Songbird network. Wrap Songbird is backed one-to-one -one by Songbird and can be unwrapped at any time. To wrap, you simply have to enter the amount of Songbird tokens that you want to wrap. Just make sure that you leave some back just to cover the network fees. Don't wrap all of your Songbird, please. Now, once you've understood all of that, all you have to do is press continue and enter the amount of Songbird that you would like to wrap. In this case, I'm gonna wrap 300 of my Songbird tokens. Click confirm. And after some quick verification, a transaction should be submitted. All that's left to do now is to wait for it to confirm. So now we should be able to delegate our tokens. Once I click on delegate, I'll be taken to a screen where I'll see my 300 wrapped Songbird tokens. If I want, I could wrap some more tokens or I could unwrap them. But I'm going to click add delegation. Now here I should read the information on the screen. And it says delegation is done in two steps. You must first select a signal provider and enter the percentage of your wrapped Songbird tokens that you want to delegate to that provider. Now to enhance decentralization, this wallet allows you to delegate to at least two providers. You just have to choose your percentages wisely. And of course, the benefit for delegation is every week you earn wrapped Songbird tokens, but you must claim them because they are forfeited after three months if you have not claimed them. So let us see who these Oracle providers are. So we have Bifrost Oracle, we have different Oracles, FTSO, you have Best FTSO. So you have a number of Oracles that I recommend you go and do your research on before you delegate to them. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna to delegate to the Bifrost Oracle. and I'm gonna set my percentage to 50%. And once I click on continue and then confirm and enter my PIN, my transaction should be submitted. And it'll take a few seconds to actually confirm. And there you go. Now I'm delegated to the Bifrost Oracle. I'm gonna add now a second delegation. In this case, I'm gonna to go to best FTSO. And I'm gonna also delegate 50% of my Songbird tokens to this Oracle. Now, if you ever want to change your delegation, all you have to do is click on manage and you can change your delegates, but just remember that may affect your rewards in the week to come. So here are all the transactions that took place. All you have to do now is wait for one week and you guys can see my rewards. Okay guys, so about two weeks and a few days have passed and good news, the Songbird token has gone up in value, so that's good for us. I also should mention that when I first made this video, I seem to have delegated at a bad time and hence I had to wait two epochs to receive my rewards. But anyway, let's go and see what I actually receive. So once I click on Songbird, I go and click on the three dots, then click on delegate and here you can see my rewards are loading and it shows that I can claim about 4.88 wrapped Songbird tokens. And the next epoch is in two days and three hours. So once I click on claim, click on confirm, enter my pin or use my biometrics, this transaction should be submitted. Once I close this off now, give it some time, you can see that I have claimed my wrapped Songbird tokens. If I now go back to the main screen, I can see that my wallet balance has increased. And there you go, that's how you delegate your Songbird tokens and how you receive your rewards. Now well, this basically brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, share and comment below and remember to smash that like button. If you want to help my channel, you can send me a donation of some Songbird using this address. Or if you're an XRP fan, you can also send me some XRP to this wallet address. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you for watching.